officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. A chance in front. He scores. Patrice. Bruins have turned it up to 11 here early with that goal. They told us this morning that they wanted to attack early. They thought that the other team might not be ready for a quick start. Turns out they were right. Bergeron's gained possession inside the neutral zone. The Hurricanes have it in the offensive zone. And he makes the save on that play. Playmaker. And with his third eye zone ability, he can make deceptive passes to set up his teammates. Marshawn's able to move his feet and fire pucks at the same time. His make and snappy zone ability is that quick shot while moving in stride, and it's how he likes to create scoring chances. I'm expecting one of these two players to be the biggest impact for their team tonight. Back to you guys. The Hurricanes have it against the wall. Moves it to Ajo. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Here they come on the attack. To his teammate. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Thomas off to hang on to it to get a whistle. You start to wear down a little bit. You need your goalie to help you out. Still lots of time left in the period. The Bruins lead it 1-0. The Hurricanes will go to work here in the offensive zone. Carolina's got the puck against the boards. Quick pass to Pacioretty. And he slides it quickly to Shea. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. Moves the puck across to Smith. To the front. And that doesn't reach the net. Nietzsche works the puck in his own zone. And we'll get a face off after the offside call. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Carolina's on the attack, and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And now it's grabbed by Stasny. How did he... He scores! They tie it up! Uh, they've been working hard to get this game back to level, and that goal will do it. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. It's all tied up. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. They put the puck into the offensive end. Shea's got the puck in his own zone. And it's kicked away. And now it's to Stastny. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blows, stopping the play. That's a penalty a couple of different ways, James. He traveled too far. The hit was too high. He goes to the box. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. One of the keys to the game is having an excellent special team. This is their first power play tonight. Puck grab by Lindholm. Carolina's got it behind the net. Here's a short pass to Burns. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck. Nietzsche takes it into the offensive zone. Taken by Stasny. Pass in front, he scores! What a play! The Hurricanes have jumped out to the early lead just the way any coach would want to see. Well, now that you're up in front, you want to push the game. Make the opponent have to scramble around the ice. Stalls one possession. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. Takes it across the blue line. 
He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Sutter's picking up momentum through center. Sends the pass in front. Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. Boston's in transition. Here's the pass in front, and that's intercepted. Scooped up along the wall by Slavin. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Moves it quickly over to Bergeron. And the play is whistled dead, and here's the call. So late in the period, you're looking forward to the intermission. Now you've got to scramble to get there. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. They deserve this power play. The last couple of shifts, they've been threatening for the time goal. Finally, they earn a power play. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Gardner. Gets it out of his own end. Takes the puck behind the net. Sends the pass down low. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. That'll do it for the opening frame. We've got lots more still in store, so don't even think about going anywhere for rail punch. Teams had a chance to recharge, and the officials set to drop the puck here on period number two. The Bruins go right back at it on the power play here and win the draw to start the frame. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Marchand's got the green light to try this move almost anywhere on the ice. The coaches have great faith in his ability, but he just can't complete it. And they remain a goal behind as the power play comes up short. You work so hard to get yourself back in the game, you earn a power play, and then you fail to cash in. So they still trail by one. The game will continue at even strength. Good fight for the puck along the boards. And that's a smart heads-up play by Shane. And that's just out of reach. And now he moves it quickly to Sutter. Puck picked up by Aho. A chance! Makes the save! What a reaction with the blocker! And now it's over to Pasternak. Poked away in the neutral zone by Pesci. Nice dish from the left wing. And he takes the dish. The Bruins cross the blue line and are on the attack. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick feed to Slavin. Slides it across to Tara Bynan. Moves the puck up to Coyle. Carolina's got it in their own zone. Moves it to Tara Heinen. Puck sent over to Natchez. Up along the wing. And now he tries to get it across to Svechnikov. Offside the call will get a reset. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. It's a 2-1 game. The Bruins win the faceoff. Quick pass to McAvoy. The Bruins are across the line and into the offensive end. The Hurricanes have it from their own end. And here's the pass to Pacioretty. On the attack along the boards. Takes the puck. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Manages to hang on. The Bruins move it ahead. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Poked away at center ice. Through pass ahead. Quick feed down low. Takes the feed at the point. From the slot, fires away. And a solid stop on the play there. They dump it in and the D's gonna change it up here. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. 
Pacioretty's gaining momentum. Here's a chance. Denies them in close. Carolina's gained possession along the boards. Scores! Three is the magic number. Man, that goalie is getting just torched down there. Three in a row here. Carolina's looking to preserve this two-goal lead right to the intermission. Well, they'd love to get it in the spot that they're in, and then guaranteed the coaches will talk about there's still 20 minutes left. Stay after it. Puck is dropped. Play resumes. Slick feed. The Hurricanes have it behind the net. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Hall. Comes up with a stop. The Hurricanes have it now. Boston's got it now. And it's a quick pass to Grizzly. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Slides it over to Grizzly. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Here we go, a big third period set to go. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski bringing you all the action. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? The Bruins are still in this game, and really, it's kind of a miracle, James. I mean, they don't have many shots on goal, not many chances. That's going to have to change in the third period. And he takes the pass. Carolina's moving it up the ice. The Bruins pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Bergeron's going to play it against the half wall. Anderson's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Carolina's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this target as it hits a body. Nice zone entry from the right side. Shuts him down. Taken along the wall by Slavin. Oh, turns it aside once again. You never want to leave the rebound, but if you do, you got to clean up your own mess. One save, two saves, and that thing's out of danger. More than half the period left to play. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Boston's got a hold of the puck. And now he angles it across to Hall. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Shot! Fantastic save! Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Poked away in the offensive end. Sends a pass over. Battle along the wall. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Poked away at center by Pacioretty. Passes the puck over to Krizlik. Fires it and makes the save. Get that swap out of here. He makes the stop and there's no rebound. Off in the corner it is. Another scoring opportunity looms here. Talked to a couple players this morning. They said they think the cross crease pass is there for the one-timer. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And some good footwork to kick it away. And they come up with possession off that battle. Puck slid down the ice. The Bruins gain possession. Sent into the opposite side. Puck battle along the boards. Here's a short pass to Stahl. Play whistle dead as the puck goes into the bench, and I think that woke up a few players. Stahl's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Snagged with the glove by Anderson. And the puck clears the zone. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Mortnick. 
Now a quick pass to Marchand. Both teams back to even strength. Impressive job by the penalty killers on that play. Well, back to even strength. The penalty killers do a really good job. They retain their lead on the backs of those four guys. The Hurricanes played along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Greer. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Quick feed to Lindholm. Puck scooped up by Burns. And a smart heads up play to put that away by Lindholm. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Takes the bank feed. The Hurricanes take possession here in the open ice. Oh, I had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Moves it to Greer. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. And the puck's kicked free. From the point, looks to make something happen. Carolina's got the puck along the boards. And he takes the feed. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Don't mind the idea, but it doesn't work. Now you got a chase. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Throws it on goal. Turns it aside with the glove. Well, a big face-off here, Razor. Empty net. The face-off becomes critical. Getting into the later stages of this period, Carolina's got a 3-1 lead. Boston's won the draw, and they'll go to work. And now it's grabbed by Kasha. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Kakaniemi's moving the puck through his own zone. And it goes wide. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Unable to reach that one. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Pad save. He's on it tonight. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Who had the edge in Carlin Babe's mind? She's standing by with the answer. Ajo's looked good, even though he hasn't recorded a point, guys. I think he stayed engaged and has stuck with it, and that's why I'm giving him my vote for our matchup. Shea's stick handling in his own zone. The Hurricanes work it through center. And into the empty net, and that should probably do it here. I would think so, James. I mean, this turned out to be a pretty good hockey game, but once the empty netter hits, that seems to seal the deal. The centermen glide into position. Boston's got a hold of the puck off the draw. That's all she wrote from this one. Well, we got ourselves a series here now, Ray. That's good for us, James. That's more invoices. <laughs> yes. Now two to one as opposed to three nothing. Or just longer on the road from the family. Yeah, there you they go. They might like that too. They're happy. Well, what a night of hockey, and the intensity will only continue to ramp up at the next playoff game, and we will see you all then here at EA Sports.